India is, uh, uh, was blessed with uh, getting the Japanese automotive manufacturers way back in 1983. So we started with Suzuki-san and Sumitomo-san at that particular time over there. So in short, we are, uh, our roots are with Japanese automotive and from there we have gone global. So I think it's a great uh, uh, position for Mother Sun to come here to the Japanese, uh, to the Tokyo Motor Show and uh, to showcase what is the global uh, reach of Mother Sun, how we can support them all over the world and what are the cutting edge technologies that we are waiting, what, what we are bringing to the table now. I think Mother Sun is 99% uh, automotive. We as we say in India, we eat, drink, sleep cars. Uh, Mother Sun is 100% uh, OEM supplier. We don't supply to the spare market or open market. And uh, Mother Sun is uh, 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 completely committed to automotive. So for the last 35 years, only automotive is our business. So we are supplying to almost all the OEMs in the world. And it's a real honor to do that. We are the oldest joint venture of Sumitomo Sai in the world. Uh, now completing 34 years of uh, joint venture, a uh, very strong joint venture. So we do wiring harnesses with them plus multiple more products. Uh, we have 38 joint venture partners, uh, uh, sorry, joint ventures in the world with 19 joint venture partners. So uh, we're a joint venture company and we also own a lot of our technologies by ourselves. German company we own, we own 100%. It's a 100% subsidiary of Mother Sun Sumi. So mirror company, uh, we do the interiors, uh, we do the exteriors. Uh, that is the i8 from BMW, the, the electric car. That's the cockpit from there. Uh, we do the, uh, that's Makan from Porsche. So we do a lot of German car interiors, exteriors and other such parts. Any uh, uh, automotive component supplier has to be uh, uh, a natural when it comes to quality, delivery and uh, the, the uh, innovativeness and all these particular things. So I think Suzuki is very right in asking that from the Indian automotive com uh, component industry. And uh, it's only natural that he wants the best of components. And I think the Indian component industry is capable of delivering a very good uh, price line. So I think that sense his expectations are very, very uh, right. Automotive component industry has to really take into account what the car makers are expecting. The, today's um, specialization on components is more based on what exactly the car maker wants. But he has to also think about the next generation of the components that are coming, or the third generation, the fourth generation. And uh, the hard work has to stop, start on all those particular things right now. So we believe that uh, to be close uh, sync, early board rising up with the customers itself when they're starting to plan their uh, models. So we are working very closely with all the car makers and all their expectations and coming up to uh, what they expect. Japanese car makers are um, very proactive, so we work along with them. Um, we have learned, whatever we have learned, we have learned from the Japanese car makers. So very grateful to Toyota-san, Suzuki-san, uh, Nissan-san and everybody. So we believe that um, uh, they are great teachers, they teach you very well. Um, they come into your country, understand your nuances and then teach you, which is something very unique. Uh, they always have a lot of time for the component manufacturers. And as you know, 80% of the components are now made by the component manufacturers. So I think very rightfully, they spend a lot of quality time with the uh, component makers and uh, uh, really teach them and get what they want uh, in advance. So I think um, kudos to the Japanese car makers. Basically not challenges, these are the expectations of the customers and the car makers in their own uh, uh, prudence are uh, picking up those particular uh, things which are going to help the driver. I uh, feel personally, I feel very uh, sad if it's going to be an autonomous car 
uh, world where you will not have the pleasure to drive a car yourself. So I kind of sort of stay away from that. As I also stay away from uh, commenting on customers' uh, individual problems and things like that. I think these are, at the end of the day, very good for consumers like you and me. Because uh, what is happening is that these customers, uh, somebody has made a mistake or something like that, and every car maker is in, involved in that. Uh, they are coming out right forth and settling those particular issues. And I feel that's a great uh, place to be. That's very responsible. Corporate responsibility is very, very strong. That's why they come up with these particular things. So I, I believe it's a part of growing up. It's a part of uh, 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 becoming a more matured and a more evolved uh, corporate citizen.